All right, well, I've got Clinton Pratt here with me today for some Zoom testing. G'day, Clinton. Yes, I'm ready. Now, you're, you're right over the other side of the world. Where are you? Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh So far, Zoom is holding up pretty well, and I've got a couple of other people on calls in the house doing their remote learning as well, so that's a pretty good sign. All right, so let's turn on digital, the, the new sound setting. So that's up the top left here, you've just seen me click that. So it now says turn off original sound, which means that we know that it is on, which is really confusing. Let's turn on all the highest settings that they've got. Yeah, okay. So audio settings, advanced. Okay, so we've got the high fidelity music mode on. Let's hear the Beethoven again. tell the difference between the first uh, when we didn't have the high fidelity sound on and now I'll be really interested when people have listened to this recording from my end uh, and yourself as well see if you can tell the difference but I actually couldn't tell the difference at all there you go <laughs> so we're both on Wi-Fi connections now um, admittedly we both have fairly good connections I think yeah really interesting yeah i mean the wi-fi quality is significantly degraded like it did it completely cut out once and we had a little bit of that cutting like just the chopping of the sound as well which we didn't get when we did the test with uh, both wide connections so it does have a huge impact so i would say i mean that's a pretty conclusive test teachers if you have a macbook or an, an app a laptop of some sort which you're teaching from which i hope you do go and grab even if it's a 20 meter cable or 20 feet cable go and grab one and plug into your router and see what the difference is because it definitely has an impact All right, we are in Rock Out Loud now and we're both still on Wi-Fi. So this will be an interesting comparison to the Zoom on Wi-Fi and uh, Clinton's got his USB mic plugged in because the MacBook one's not working so well, not sounding good. So over to you, Clinton, if you're happy to give us a little play. <laughs> Yeah, no cutting out at all. There you go. And we're on the Wi-Fi still. Yeah. range seems greater for me on Rock Out Loud. I'll be interested to hear what other people think when they listen to the recording. Um, 
And it just, I mean, it literally just sounds like you're in another room next to me kind of thing. Like there's, I don't have to kind of strain to hear anything and nothing's getting missed at all, um, which is great. I, I wonder how it sounds when I play mine. Is it coming through quite nicely for you? Yeah, it's clear. And actually I noticed a big difference with your speaking voice. Oh, um, really? Yeah. He, yeah, here in Rock Out Loud, it just, yeah, it sounds more like your regular speaking voice yeah. on the telephone or something. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. And I know you've been doing a lot of testing on Rock Out Loud as well. And one of the things I have noticed is the ability to, to converse much more naturally, just to be able to talk. And if you talk over each other, it doesn't stop the conversation like it does on Zoom so much. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do like a minor arpeggio, and then maybe I'll go to the dominant chord. And then I'm just gonna come all the way down and go back to the minor. So can you still hear me talking while I'm playing? Absolutely, have not missed a beat. So keep on playing and I'll talk, uh, talk to you um, okay. about your beautiful minor arpeggios. So can you still hear me as you're playing these? Yeah, and I can I can still hear what you're playing. It's a little bit muffled, but that's to be expected. Um, and it's a lovely undercurrent to my <laughs> my speaking voice. Uh, look, I mean, I think that just goes to show you that the duplexing ability in Rock Out Loud just makes that you don't have that because it's really tiring, isn't it? That's one of the tiring things about Zoom. I think is is always having to stop and think and wait and strain your ears to hear what's going on. All right, let's do a final test. We're both on Ethernet. We're both on the enhanced audio recognition system of Rock Out Loud. This should be pretty clear. Sounded great to me. Oh, honestly, it sounded like you're in the room next to me. Wow. Yeah, really, really good. Full dynamic range, expression, yeah. Hey, just before you go, make sure you click here to subscribe and we've got thousands of other videos all on the topic of music education and teaching. So make sure you check out some of those other ones here and I'll see you in the next video.